sit down. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Not once. What about Anna? And on Anna? That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Okay, um... Never hit your daughter, really? Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. But to support her mother, Your probably. Wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Ah, oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. There's never really any excuse to you beat your wife. You knew run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Yeah, I had to find a Say goat! Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? They didn't run away, you drove them out. No matter, I know how to find them. How do they flee? What happened? Let's, let's learn about that. Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. No, what she hit him like, with the candlestick. You? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew. She'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time. But that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and a war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. 
It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your Siri. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into... fucking what? Details you don't need to know. There's a bond of blood between this creature and your wife and daughter. I can use that bond to find them. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. We're gonna try to lift I'll the curse, chat. I'll show you where I her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. My boots are so shiny, it's inappropriate. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. Found it. Look. We're gonna lift the curse. Take it in your arms, quick. And if it goes Garretton, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets very restless? It'll bite through your jugular, and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Merciful gods! Fortress. What? With this? As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. Okay. 
<laughs> what did you just walk into? Uh, this is uh, this is his miscarried fetus that has turned into a monster called a boblican. And uh, and I'm gonna turn it into a or a botchling. Sorry, I'm gonna turn it into a lubican so it can be at peace. It's pretty messed up. I'm doing something, calm yourself. Let's hope that's the case. More wraiths? Need to hurry. Geralt, would you stop dancing around like a pony and actually hit the race? Thank you. Guys, you're scaring Roach? Oh, there's still a Wraith? Ouch! Leprechaun? Yes, it turns into a leprechaun. Squirming again, like a daft eel. What? Stopped. All right, almost there. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's, it's a girl. What would Anna remind her? Here we go. If all goes well, we'll have saved the day. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya, and embrace thee as my daughter. with you out of the question but 
That's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Yes, Time does. for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubricant. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Okay, so do I need to wait? So let's, uh, let's wait till then. Oh, there's literally a sit and wait option. Lol. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Hey, it worked! Yay! We Lead summoned me it. To those bound to you by blood. It's on the move, dude. Roach. Come on, Roach. Can you move? Okay, maybe I am supposed to run. I feel like it is, uh... I feel like it was moving a lot faster, and then I got on the horse, and then it started to move slow. Calm down, dudes. I mean, honestly, maybe I shouldn't have uh, made fun of those guys because I just realized they probably see this thing and they probably thought there was some demon coming after them. Oh, it's over. I didn't get to serenade you all the way. Here? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around, though. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Okay. Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Wants to show me something more. All right, let's go. Come on. Show me the way. I'm not in the mood to fight. Lubricant, if you could move a little faster, I'd appreciate it. There's there's giant scorpions coming for me. Lubricant, why are you so slow, bruh? Aren't you a ghost? Go faster, dude. Now we got rot fiends too. Oh, there's a horse. Okay. Never mind. We don't have to like, fight these guys. Should examine that horse carcass. It's another rot fiend. God, why are there so many? I see a knight over there on the log. God, there's another one. Now 
Now we're safe. Thank God. What do we have here? Okay, let's uh let's look at the saddle. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. They hungry, man. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Bones have been here a while. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Probably. Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. I could do that, Chad. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Rib cage and bones. Trail goes on. Good thing it doesn't end here. Can't inspect that guy. All right, Lubberkin, let's keep going. Hey, why am I out of juice? Heal juice. Wolves, don't do it. Don't do it, doggies. Don't want to hurt you. Leave me alone, doggos. Leave me alone, doggos. I don't want to hurt the doggos. Come on. All right, doggos wanted it. Didn't want to hurt the doggos, but I had to hurt the doggos. So another house? Are they hid? Ooh, I had been to this house, chat. Remember this house? We were here a couple days ago, and I was like, ooh, this house going to have something to do later on. Because it was locked. The fisherman's hut. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. What's up? I just came into your home without announcing myself. Who's that? At the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. You know something. Just need Don't be lying to me. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Don't lie to me. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, mummy? Busted! Right. I want to help that woman. She could be in danger. Young and see no one, my lord. He's a kitty. Must have dreamt it. Shut up. I want to hear this dream then. So, kid, who did you see? Who came here? Pappy brought her at night. The lady does the medicines. She was all afeard. Talked about an awful monster. Said she had to go back. Don't know where to. Mummy and Pappy cheered her up. Gave her clothes. Hers were ragged. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Because... Because he beat her, sir. I mean, yeah. <laughs> beat Mrs. Anna, I mean... Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, twere like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. The cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had arisen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What? Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did debt. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara alerted, brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. 
no two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come, a time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Well, what happened about? What happened to her? Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. So Anna got killed by a monster? Okay. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye. No, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. These hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. Okay. All right, I am level 10, chat. It is time to upgrade, my friends. Let's do this. Um, okay, I have five points, first of all. Second of all, I have a blue mutagen right here. Okay, and I have a green one, which I can put over there. Green. Okay, well let's let's upgrade some stuff first. Um, deflect arrows while parrying. Slowed time while crossbow adrenaline point loss damage by twenty percent. I think I'm going to do this adrenaline point one. Some of that. Because I, I need to get down to Whirl. Let's see, adrenaline point loss. I don't know what to use here, chat. That's part of the problem. Um, let's see, Axie. Kind of want that. Target does not move towards your always casting. Axie also affected as Axie dialogue. So let's do this one. I'm going to put that over there. Perfect. And I'm going to put this one over here. Toxicity above zero. Potion duration type plus 10%. Um, time for sort of aiming bombs. Oil applied to blades. There's a target on target. Let's do heightened tolerance on this one. Okay, we'll put that over here as well. Okay, we're stacking them up, chat. Stacking them up. And this unlocks at 12, 14, oh, 
12, 15, 18. Man, they're really killing me with those. Yeah, I think this is good. This is good. This is what we want. Okay. So I can head back to Crow's Perch. Did not mean to pick up those flowers, but it's fine. I got to sneeze. Choo! Excuse me, chat. I like how the music just started and then went away immediately. Let's go tell the Baron what's happening. And then we'll go... Uh, Go to Oxenford. Roach, why did you turn? Hmm? Ah, <laughs> Excuse me, sirs. Go, go. Excuse me, sirs. You. Roach, you you are a bad horse. Thank you. Yeah. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Peller must. A witcherly service, that's to say. The Peller? What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil, the Peller needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge, damned souls too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. What'll I get out of it? Witches do naught for free, this the Pella knows. Not to fear. How to reward one for their aid, this too the Pella knows. Seems like you could use a witcher, so yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse, the Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey, to fight Isle. There in the circle of stones we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Okay, I'll do that later. Remember me? Yes. Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Here, I'm grateful. All right, can we finally go talk to the Baron? Or there are going to be about 800 more people that want to talk to me right now. Witcher, a word, please. Oh, man, another one. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the Sergeant. Leftover from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Hey Baron, how you doing, dude? You hanging in there, man? There you are. See the hollyhock there? The violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story. Insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, 
The frilly ones. They're called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Dea most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Yep. Should have acted earlier. Taken them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Yeah. Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. I don't think he's gonna like what we have to say about his family, chat. Don't think he's gonna like it. Any news for me? Your daughter's in Oxenford. What the blazes? She alright? In good health? Safe? Why haven't you brought her back? Never offered to do that. How do you know she's safe? You see her at least? No, but I talked to the man who helped her escape and then took her in. Tamara is safe and sound. From what I gathered, she has no desire to see you again, no intention to return. I shan't trust some peasant dolt. I shan't trust whoever it is helped her. I need to know for certain she's safe. Go to her. You must be sure. See her yourself. I shan't believe anyone else. That much I can do. I'm grateful. Take this, call it enticement, and this might prove useful. What is it? A letter of safe conduct. Ever since the Redanians took hold of the Pontar Delta, they made it damned hard to get to Novigrad without one. Very well. You were to find them both. What of Anna? Learned anything? Nothing yet, but I'm on her trail. Well, what are you waiting for? For you to tell me about Siri. Like we agreed. <sighs> Fine. A word once given. When Siri was on the mend, we took her out on a hunt. Thought a bit of galloping would warm up her limbs, gone stiff from so much bed rest. Oh, we get to play a Siri now. Cool. That lass of yours. Pure luck in the flesh. To hunt down a wild boar that size. Why? Worthy of one of King Faltest's feasts, were he still among the living. Sere, come! Our haunt should be yours as I see it. Oh, you're doing well, lass. Not bad. Not bad at all. But who goes boar hunting with a sword? No bow at hand, no spear. My sword was all I had. <laughs> well, you brandished it beautifully. Where'd they teach you that, anyway? At Kaer Morhen. Witcher school there, are I? But they only took lads, as I recall. I'm not a witcher. Just grew up there. I believe it, seeing how you swing that sword. Know any of them potions? <laughs> not so much. A bit. Because, you see, at times I get this pinching back here. Shut it, Egrin. Nobody cares about your backside. <laughs> but his butt hurts! A woman could swing a sword. I've known one. But never seen a lady mount anything but a cock proper. All tipsy on horseback. Nothing strange on account they bloody mount them sideways. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. Coward. What happened? You get the jitters? No. <laughs> so why not? The horse is mine. To race the Baron himself. I'd consider it an honor. <laughs> oh, that'd be a sight to behold. Would it ever? Done. But if I win... I take your sword. Agreed. I'd not drink any more this night. 
You'll want your head about you. We start at daybreak. I hate ho horse racing, chat. I hate horse racing. Horse racing can suck it! Hard! It's the worst! Alright, here we go, Trent. Velen, Northern Temeria, Sunrise. There's a little bunny, Chad. The day dawns. Ready? As ever, first one to the tower. Man chop! Come on, Siri, don't you embarrass us! <laughs> Your sword is mine! That'll be the day! You don't feel good, man? That sucks. I really hope you don't have the flu, dude. Horse, the mare is yours. Thank you. What? Another chance to win. Is that cockatrice? It's not good. Just randomly coming at you. Headache and a sore throat. I don't know if that's flu symptoms, but I'm not a doctor, so I have no idea. Isn't your mother she a nurse? Like a mad woman. In an instant, all had forgotten the wager. Every man ran to save his skin, even worried to break his neck. And they make it. Some, aye. Others were not so fortunate. But what happened then? I must say, Witcher. Uh, Seen a lot, but nothing like this. Never. Uh-oh. I know that look. You're a fast learner. You'll know the rest once you find my wife. Working on it. And making piss-poor progress. They split up. Hadn't considered that possibility before. But don't worry. I'll find Anna, too. Let's play Gwent. Ever play Gwent? I do. And what's more? I usually win. If you've a deck, sit down. Outplay me, and I'll give you one of yeah. my unique cards. Text her, man. She can probably tell you what's up. That for enticement. Let's lay him down. Let's see if I can beat this guy. I don't really have that great of a deck yet, so maybe. But he's a pretty easy. He's a he's an earlier one, so let's try it out. It's really gonna come down if I draw something good here. Um, let's get rid of you. Okay, that's better. Should you say you're fine? Well, I don't know, man. Maybe you are. Kappa. Kappa, Kappa, Kappa. Oh, no, he played a one chat. Watch out. Okay, I'm going to play all my uh, bow people first. What does this guy do? He's gonna he's gonna pass. That should help your throat, man. Eating ice cream? What kind of ice cream is it? Let me 
Is he going to play to try to beat me right now? It's interesting. Did not see that one coming, chat. Just grabbed it? You're not fat, are you? If you were fat, you'd know better. Okay, here we go, chat. Okay, first things first, we're going to play her. Then we're going to play Thaller, because he'll pull two cards, and he's only worth one point. Put him up there, and I'll draw two cards. Perfect. Okay, then we'll play the decoy. And pull back this lady. Yeah, see, if you were fat, you would you would know what you were eating. That'd be more important than anything else in the world. Now I'm gonna play her again, and I believe Dijkstra is gonna be the best one to play. Yeah, we're gonna play Dijkstra. Grab two more cards. Perfect. I really wish I would have got the third of this guy, but this will have to do. Now I can clear weather at any time, so I'm just going to let him do his thing. I will assume he's going to play more weather, which is why I just don't really care about, you know, let's do a thing. Happy discount candy day. Never heard that trash. That's funny. How you doing? He's got another Torrential Rain. Let's see if I could just beat him without the thing. Not too bad. Finally got to move my setup so I can lurk all the time. Thank goodness I missed you. It's discount candy day because it's the day after Valentine's Day, official player. Doy. Look at this chat. I win without even clearing weather. Amazing. I missed your money? I mean, I miss everyone's money. If there's not money every second of every day, dude. I don't feel like a rapper, so I need it. By the way, I'm very mad at Streamlabs because your newest sub does not show up. And I've been waiting for you to come back so I could replay this. And maybe it'll show up as newest sub. Let's see, did it show up? Did it show up? I, I don't know why. Like, it shows you right here on my Streamlabs. Six days ago, Luke7050 resubscribed. And then three days ago, Trash Chan resubscribed. But your sub doesn't show up as newest sub, and I. I don't know why. I, I, I don't know why. And it really bothers me. Like, I don't know if it's because Luke7050 was a new sub? I don't know. Because, like, when Fiction will resub for two months, it, it showed up there. Like, when DoTube subscribed, it was his first time subscribing. Then Fictional subscribed a day later for two months, and his name took over. And then Luke subscribed. He subscribed with Prime the first time, and then he subscribed, like, subscribing. So I think that's why it's reset his counter. Because technically, this is his second month, too. But it just, it's count as one. And then it says you subscribe tier three for two months because you're the best. But it doesn't show your name. And I can't type, I mean, I could type your name up there. But I would have to change my entire OBS setup to the any sub. All right, hold on. We're going to do this right now. Oh, yeah, I have to go. I have to go to a different template. I literally have to go to just my top bar template. Um, newest sub. Let's see here. I'm hitting browse. Let's see, all time. Donation follow monthly. Most recent. See, right now it's on most recent subscriber. That's the one it's on.
Yeah, see, I don't think there is a... I don't think there is. It's 30 day. It's 30 day, which is cheer, donation, top cheer, cheers. You know, and then there's all time. Then there's donation goal, donation train, follow train. And then there's the monthlies, the most recents, the sessions, the sub trains, the totals, the weeklies. And that that's what's so strange. I just I just don't understand why. Because like on Seth and Colby and stuff, like we used to have people that would that would resubscribe while uh, while we weren't on the air or follow while we weren't on the air, and those wouldn't show up. And Streamlabs is like, yeah, that's a known bug with Twitch. They blame Twitch, and they're like, if you're not broadcasting when someone resubs, it won't show up in the Streamlabs dashboard. But I was streaming. No, I remember it. It was during the intro. I, I remember it vividly. Believe me, I remember when I get tier three subs. So I don't know why it's being a turd. I, I just I don't understand why it's being a turd. It's, but it infuriates me because your sub is the most important sub. Streamlabs. Ah, you won. You are. A man's only as good as his word. <laughs> That's why you got the green sword. A few villain short on worthy opponents. Boat builder in Oriton might be one. There was also an old soothsayer lived east of here near the windmill last I heard. There's a lad. About as reasonable as an old mare, but he plays a devilish hand. In fact, I don't rightly know that you're ready for him. I will defend this honor with my righteous sword! Alright, what card did he give me? Deekstra. Ooh, Deekstra. That's a good that's a good card, chat. I'm gonna add that to my deck right now. Add it. Boom. And now I can take one of these turds out of here. Like, let's let's get rid of you. Boom. Um, how do I get out of this place? This door over here. And where is my stash? Right over here. Run, run, run through the door. Stash, stash. Okay, I'm going to put all these weapons in here that I've been hoarding for forever because I'm too lazy to go to a stash. All of those go in there. Okay, perfect. And I don't think there's anything else I want to put in the stash at this exact moment. Okay. Girl, get off that. You're in someone's house. Get out of my sight. Now what? Wait, Witcher. When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A dolly? Yeah. A rag doll. Uh -huh. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Why are you working with Novigrad? Can't help wondering why you made a deal. With the Nilfgaard Novigrad? Nilfgaard. God, I blind. Do? Cast myself at them and die a hero. Fuck a hero's death. Fuck death. Good Rather attitude. Is a traitor. Ere long, none will remember it. Temeria is no more. There's naught left to betray. The local Nilfgaardian garrison doesn't look that strong. What of it? Even were I to attack, cut them down to a man, others will come soon. Black ones will flood this land, take control before long. Sure as we've all got arseholes, they will. Cool. See ya. So long. All right. Probably so hungry he's eating his own snot. Love to, but not till the morning. Hey, lady. How can I help you? Um. Ooh, I could play Gwent with her as well. Chat, let's Gwent it up today. We haven't Gwented at all today. Rounds of Gwent. It's only the second one we've Gwented all day. How disgusting. How disgusting. All the Gwent we can get. No spies. Dude, I need more spies in my, my stuff. Dude. Let's get rid of you. Garbage, dude. 
She's playing monsters too. I hate it. Play all my archers. It's just rude. Is, it, is she gonna play like, oh, Commander's Horn? Okay. Yeah, I'm still doing better though. She's gonna play that card that brings all of those people in. I can feel it. Can you stop with the commander's horns? Chat, what the heck just happened? Why? Okay, she passed. Okay, so I win, I get to draw a card. And I didn't use my clear weather, which I'm proud of. Here comes all the turds. Luckily, these are worth 16 points. Okay, that's incredibly random to play that card. This is my highest. Eight? Yeah, eight right here. Okay. She's 33, all right. She's got one card. Let's hope it sucks. And it's great. Not fair, chat. She had better cards than me. I need a higher than five. I need a higher than five to be drawn. Rage! Hacks! You hack! How can I help you? But stop hacking with your Gwent! What are you selling? Let's get on with it. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad at her. Get rid of that. What's this, level 14? I'll just wait. I never use a crossbow, dude. The only time I even use a crossbow is when I'm underwater, and then underwater it is a one-hit kill no matter what, so. L-U-L. Um, why is there no shop music? First of all, it's very awkward. I have nothing to sell her, really. Okay. Let's try it again, chat. Let's try it again. Up for a few rounds of Gwent? Let's try it again. If I get better cards drawn, like if I get my spies, that would be helpful. Or all three of my hand dudes. Like, see, these are terrible. Terrible cards. Okay, she's playing like the big guns right out front. That's different than last time. See, she plays that fog. See, look at all those turds. Look at all those turds she brought out. I hate it. Pass. Hey, 
Hate it! God, that's a horrible card. Here they come. Here they come, chat. Here comes more. I think she actually had better cards this time than the last time. Yeah, she wins. Forget it. Forget it. Filled with hate. What's that you're muttering? All right, where? Oxenford, huh? There's a long way to go to Oxenford. That's a long way to go. So I guess I guess we'll start doing that, huh? I guess we could just start heading that way, hitting these question marks on the way. I mean, I guess I guess that's what we'll do. So I guess we'll mark here, hit that one first. Hey guys, it's me, Z Swigs. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, informative, and most of all, entertaining. Please leave a comment, let me know what you thought, and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. Also, come hang out with me every day over at twitch.tv slash zswigs. We're playing fun games over there. I love all of you, and thanks again for all your support.